Cue the music. Let's go. I'm your boy, Ro, OG member of the Orange Bowl Boys, and welcome to another edition of Student of the Game. What in the world is this? What is this? This is a Miami Hurricane-centered film review series, but we're watching Oregon versus Washington State? <laughs> yeah, because we're watching this guy, newly announced Miami Hurricane Portal QB Cam Ward via the Cougars, is now a member of the Miami Hurricanes. Now, Washington State takes an L in this game, but Miami and Mario, well, you take the W. So over to the film, shall we? Washington State's going to come out in this bunch trip side to the field, one to the boundary, running back to their respective right. So they're 10 set personnel. Now, Oregon, I wanted to focus on this game because Dan Lanning really has some defensive chops, right? He's got that prowess. So Odd man front, it's a hybrid coverage. They're running man to the boundary. He's he's locked up. He's going to follow the shallow cross across the field. And I really like this concept here because they're going to have a switch release. They're running two safeties over the top. They're shelling this off in a defense. And right here, linebacker is going to get victimized because he's going to be essentially your flat defender. He's responsible for the flat, and he gets too flat. Cam Ward picks up on it, and he's going to make them pay. So at the snap of the ball, you're going to watch one, two, three. Now, you know I'm a big fan of the subtle shoulder warfare. Got to keep those safeties at bay. He's doing that. Look at the shoulders. It's right here. Got to contend for that safety. Now, at the bottom of the screen, remember when I said the flat defender's getting a little too flat. Now the back is turned, ball's out. Great timing, right? Great anticipation. And I love the touch because you got to be able to see quarterbacks throw on trajectories, right? If you try to maybe bullet that, you probably hit that linebacker in the back. So it's not always about bullets. Sometimes it's about butterflies. And right now, Canes fans, you should have butterflies because this is potentially QB1. Getting to know you. Now, this is a very simple pitch and catch, but I felt there was enough noteworthy things to give it its own clip. Let's watch it in real time first. First and 10. Trips to the field side. Get it out there. Okay, so that's how you stay ahead of the chains and not behind it. That was an RPO. Now, I get this nuance, people new to the channel, that term, well, it's the quarterback who's running. Not necessarily. You have a run option, and then you have a pass option. It doesn't necessarily mean that the quarterback has to run. Now, Cam Ward has phenomenal athleticism. He's going to add that tertiary element to RPOs, and it's going to get fun. But in this case, it's a pre-read, pre-snap read identifier. He's got a lot of cushion. He knows he has somebody going out to the flat. So he's going to get the ball out quick. How do you know it's an RPO? If you pay attention to the center, he's going to shoot out really, really hardcore. Now, that's one of those rules in college football. They can get a lot further downfield than the NFL. They're shooting out to run block, including the center. Now, this is the decision-making pre-snap that you want to see from a quarterback. All right, they have this if they need it, but this is the leverage pre-snap that his wide receiver one is giving him a lot of cushion, so he's going to go ahead and deliver this ball. So very good when your quarterback delivers the ball and you have essentially like five yards in space in either direction. Something else you want to go ahead and pay attention to because – you know, how's your quarterback's feet? What are they doing? Because a lot of times they got to be quick. They got to be now. They just got to get the ball out. And I like to see that adaptive mindset and skill set where you look like a shortstop when you throw. Ready? Go ahead. Keep it. There you go. Plant your feet. Throw that 6 4 3 double play for me one time, Cam Ward. Right? Comes out to the side because you just got to get it out quick. And that's why. Five yards in either direction, giving his wide receiver the time and the space to stay ahead of the chains. RPO, pre-snap, a lot of things that you like to see, you just saw. Cue Dak Prescott, here we go. I kind of think that's annoying, but it's kind of funny too at the same time. This is why I wanted to watch this game, because I wanted to see Oregon on defense. Come out, stack formation here. He's going to go ahead and put somebody in motion, talking about Cam Ward. He's going to reload this real quick, and here you go. Now, Prior to the snap, here's that two safety shell again, right? It's going to end up being man one with a robber, okay? So man coverage across the board. Here's the man. 
You see him running man. There was the robber. Safety dropped down. Now it's single high, so he's looking at a post-snap window change. And watch him. Man across the board, man across the board, man across the board. Now, at this juncture, okay, nothing is open. It's not. It's it's covered. There's a lot of mess there. You can make the argument right here at the bottom of the screen. They're even a back is turned, but regardless, not a lot of options here. And this is what I felt last year with the Miami Hurricanes when three were in routes early. We didn't have enough adaptability to make plays. Compound this. Your uh, yeah, your offensive lineman's getting beat, getting beat bad. So can your quarterback bail you out? Yes or no? Yes or no? My goodness, yes. <laughs> so that was pretty, okay? Real pretty. Let's just watch that again. I love the fact that as he's eluding this defender, his eyes are still upfield. He's not really looking down. He's not panicking. And as soon as he's by, bam, he's back upfield again. Quick, scanning. It's like the predator. He's just switching between like thermal imaging. Acquire that target, Holmes. Find it on the run. Touch. My goodness, kid. Oof. I can tell Washington State that this is later in the year and they've been watching some Miami Dolphins film. <laughs> I'll point that out later. Here's the, here's the reality. You need shortstops. You need quarterbacks who act like shortstops. What I mean by that, they just throw from all these different angles. The, the days of the you know starting pitchers over the top, pristine... You can't do that anymore because the game won't let you, right? There's athletic freaks. Oregon comes out, odd man front. This is going to be a play action pass. This is not an RPO. From their 11 set personnel, one running back, one tight end. Now, tight end's going to fake the wham block where he's coming across the formation like this and kind of lay a hat on somebody, and then he's going to get out into the flats. But I want to stop this. That's why I said they watched the Dolphins because you saw the exit motion. <laughs> Dolphins made that popular. Obviously, we're in South Florida. Man, again, across the board on the wide receivers. Here you go. You put it in the mesh point. Let's stop here. Okay? Uh, we got a problem. We got a pro. Oh, what's the problem? Oh, we got somebody in our face. So let me act like a shortstop, and let's just go ahead and turn that double play again. 6-4-3. Whoop. Round the corner. Wide open. Wide open. And that was such a brilliantly designed play. But it required the quarterback, again, to have some mechanic adaptability to be able to throw from all platforms because my flow bait brings all the fishies to the yard. Well, they 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 took it. Oregon took it. Look at them. Look at them flow. They're selling that like outside zone. Linebackers going. They lose sight across. I mean, that's high school wide open homes. But it all stemmed. That play doesn't work unless your quarterback has adaptability. Great job by Cam Ward there to go ahead and dump that ball down. Remember in the first clip I said that quarterbacks have to throw on multiple trajectories and sometimes you have to float that butterfly and it's not always about the bullet? Well, you got to throw bullets too. Ace gun, three by one look, 11 set personnel again. I really like the concept by Washington State. They're throwing a lot of switch releases at the Oregon Duck defense. Here's your one, two, and three on this field side. The three and two are going to switch release, thus switching their roles and responsibilities. The concept, it's going to be a flood concept. And sorry, Oregon Duckies. Uh, Noah's Ark's not even going to save you from this flood. So let's go take the drop. Right here. Let's watch the throw. Bam. Now, straight line trajectory. That's your bullet. Watch it again. Is there float to this ball? Get your drop. Sit there. Throw straight, straight, straight. Boom. That's impressive. That is a good throw and effortless. That's effortless velo here. Not really necessarily having to step on it, not using too many crazy parts, but he's able to make that wide side out pass relatively easy and relatively steadfast. Let's look at the footwork. Ace gun, something like this. One, two, three. Hitch one, hitch two. 
Ball comes out pretty quick. Front arm tied to the body to it kind of accelerate that rotational force. And that's a money pass, too. On the money, honey. Hey, Washington State coming out with their three-by-one look again. And they're going to utilize switch release again. Now, the concept that the offensive coordinator is calling is a switch all vertical. So when the offensive coordinator is calling that concept, I know a couple things. He has confidence in his quarterback, and he's aggressively trying to take a shot downfield. And this throw, Jean-Claude Cam Dam. This is pretty. Man coverage on the outside. Back was turned. That's what he's looking for. Washington State up front utilizing a slide protection. Running back, he's going to his right. Offensive linemen are going to their respective. Hey, Mirabal would be livid, bro. Look for work. Look for work. Find somebody. Somebody. Hit somebody. <laughs> I think Cam has a presence of mind to know as well. He's going to take a little bit of a hit here. It comes, and again, Cam, damn, this is pretty. Touch pass, downfield, back turn. That was open in his mind. Exquisite throw. Hey, ace gun two by two. Now, okay, documented history, some ball security issues. And you kind of see it early on this, the way he kind of gets the ball out there. But when the play isn't there, and this should be refreshing to Miami Hurricane fans, and I'm watching, okay, he's looking up at the top side of the field, doesn't like it, eyes are dropping, sees a lane in front of him. That's what I meant about the ball security issues early there, that ball. Now he's got it tucked. Uh, hey. That should be encouraging to Canes fans. Mobile quarterback being able to pick up 10 yards with his feet, get away from the pocket, first down. So in the third quarter, as it's closing to an end, game kind of got away from Washington State. The game's now 31-16. to Offensive lines kind of getting beat up a little bit. Just a, just a talent along the defensive line is starting to kind of share its form. Oregon's still running a lot of man concepts here, but... Trying to sell this play-action pass, one in which the left guard is coming across the formation to sell it. Trying to do a shock play potentially here around midfield. But as you see this happens, okay, uh, we're getting beat clean there. Tight end to the top side of the formation. He's getting beat too, so Cam's like starting to feel the pressure. This is, the Wolves are closing in, right? Again, can you bail your team out of a bad play? Good job there. It was a first and 15. Obviously, they had a five-yard procedural penalty before that. Again, Wolves closing in. Just escape the pocket. Move around. Those can be backbreakers later on. And listen, University of Miami last year, these kind of plays could have extended the drives, especially when things started to bog down. When things were covered downfield, University of Miami routinely were looking for answers Cam Warden, a run game in this capacity could be your answer. Adaptability. You love to see it, especially when it's not there. And that's the theme. That's the theme walking away from this Oregon game. Every game kind of talks to you. What do you see? What do you learn? And what I'm learning about Cam Ward has an impressive skill set, but he's able to make things happen. Now, he's going to buck an age old tendency, right? Or a line. Never throw late across the middle. I say poppycock. Just never throw late across the middle and get it intercepted. <laughs> because this is late across the middle, obviously. And it's wide open. I don't think the coach is going to yell at him too much. I mean, look at this. This is like the Red Sea. It's like my second Old Testament reference. Hey, but let's go ahead and back this up again. Cam Ward surveying the field. Obviously, 641 left to go. Oregon's playing everything underneath, which is fine. They're not trying to give up anything easy. And again, this is impressive from the fact that, look, he knows his running back's there. He's got his eyes downfield, so he's a pass-first guy. He's not looking to run, and that's when he makes this play. 
Good job there. Man, there's like nobody in the screen. Like nobody. You can throw late across the middle, especially when they're wide open. And this is going to be the Paul Bange blow the roof off clip of the week. Hi, I'm Paul. Give me a call. And, and it's the last clip of the week. Save the best for last, Hurricane fans. This has been a phenomenal ride getting to know our new portal quarterback who is poised, who is poised to be quarterback one. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put that out on record right now. And it's plays like this that put him in the driver's seat. Two by two look. One thing I noticed by Oregon in the second half especially with the slot receivers, they got a lot more physical. So right here, watch him. Jam, jam, pushing. He's looking to make this throw. It's covered. And what disrupted right there? He kind of got knocked off his feet. So he's back off surveying, looking for another option. Bracketed, covered, covered. Oregon's just doing a good job right now. They got the horses, right? So they're utilizing those horses to beat the other horses. So let's just watch Cam do Cam things. Here we go. Bange. 5619543305. It doesn't matter because the combo is a nine, a go route, an eight, a post route, a one roof. 981 roof. My goodness, Canes fans, just get excited. Just look at the play. I'm your boy, Ro. OG member of the Orange Bowl Boys. Check us out on all your various podcast platforms. Stay safe, my friends. Bang.